When I was a senior in high school, I worked for a daycare every day after school, and I had a class of 10 kids, and all of them were two-year-olds. I don't know if you've ever spent a lot of time with 10 two-year-olds, but it could get pretty intense. And I remember I would always dread rainy days because a rainy day meant that the kids could not go outside and play. Kids are meant to play and have fun. It's just a part of being a kid. And when they couldn't do that, it could be a madhouse. Max Licato shared a really similar story about three fishermen. They got a small camper, they went to the lake, but for three days they couldn't fish because they had terrible weather. And so they were trapped in this camper together and tensions ran high, anger came out, and it was not a good trip to say the least. And in the same way, I think a lot of us, especially in the past year, with families, parents, and kids working and learning from home, I'm sure a lot of us have experienced tensions running high and the anger or stress or tension that can come from not doing what you feel like you're supposed to be doing. Max Cicado, when he told his story, he said this, when energy intended to be used outside is used inside, the result is explosive. Instead of casting nets, we cast stones. Instead of extending helping hands, we point accusing fingers. Instead of being fishers of the lost, we become critics of the saved. Rather than helping the hurting, we hurt the helpers. And he goes on to say, when those who are called to fish don't fish, they fight. Note the other side of the fishtail. When those who are called to fish fish, they flourish. We know as believers, Jesus calls us fishers of men. When the church doesn't do what it's called to do, we fight. Bob Goff said it like this, we won't be distracted by comparison if we are captivated by purpose. When we as the church, the body of believers, when we are focused on our purpose, which is to make disciples, to love God and love other people and make disciples of people, when we're focused on our purpose, we won't have time to be distracted or to fight with one another. I read this week that Apathy is no longer our greatest issue or our greatest concern, but distraction is. If you've spent any time on social media this year, you know that we can become so distracted by what's going on in the world, and it divides us. It causes us to fight. This week I read, if we spend more time in conspiracy theories, reading the news, or celebrating the demise of some opposing political leader, then we do in prayer, enemy love, scripture and obedience, then the path is already lost to us. Regardless of how good we may feel those things are, we need to ask ourselves, do I know more about what's happening in the world or what Christ has to say to me personally? We can get so focused on the things that are going around us, but Jesus says, we are called to be fishers of men. Jesus says it's time to get back to fishing. And as a church, as Church 2911, that's our prayer. That is our hope for this year, that we will truly fall in love with fishing. In Luke, Jesus gave his disciples a really practical lesson on fishing. Simon had been out all night long fishing and he hadn't caught anything. And so Jesus came and he sat down with Simon. Jesus said, put out into deep water and let down the nets for a catch. And Simon answered, Master, we have worked hard all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the nets. In this message from Jesus to Simon, we see three things. And the first is this, Jesus says, Simon, go deeper. He said, put out into deep water. You know, it's really easy to like someone from a distance, but if we wanna love someone, we've got to get up close. When Jesus was talking to Simon, he took it a step further. Rather than just leaving it at go into deeper water, he told him to let his net down on the other side of the boat than what he had been trying all night. And Simon had a choice to say, you know what, Jesus, I've tried this and it didn't work and I'm not gonna do it again. Or Simon could be obedient. Simon could listen to the call of Jesus and be obedient. Simon knew that what he had been doing wasn't working. Simon pivoted, Simon made the choice to try something different. And for us, this is a good invitation, a good reminder to try something different. And finally, Simon decided to not give up. He said, because you say so, I will let down the nets. There might be people in your life that you've been praying for for years and years and years. Don't give up. 
If you don't know what to do, if you don't know where to go, ask Jesus, talk to the Lord. He loves to speak to us if we're listening. Following Jesus doesn't have to be complicated. There are some easy steps, practical steps that you can take if you want to fall in love with fishing. And one of the best things you can do is just acknowledge that there are people in your life who need to know Jesus, people in your life who desperately need the life-changing and amazing message of Jesus. And when we acknowledge that, then we can begin to take action. If you would pause this video even and think of just one person in your life who needs to know Jesus. And I can't help but think our own community this week saw mass destruction, even a family in our own church. People right now are walking through the very worst weeks and days of their life. And the world, the hurting world, needs the message of Jesus that we can give. And so it might not feel like the ideal time, but there has never been a better time for us to reach someone with the message of Jesus. And we don't have to be perfect. We don't have to get everything right. All we have to do is take the next step. All we have to do is turn our focus away from our distractions and focus on our calling, on our purpose, and God will handle the rest. Thank you.